Hello everyone. Yesterday we finished the salt tree illustration finally. And I was I was satisfied with the overall, you know. Uh, how to say that? The overall uh, endeavors. <laughs> Uh, and today, uh, uh, early this morning, I created a little poll, you know, that uh, had like three choices for you guys to to choose between what what we're gonna do today. One was uh, 2D character concept art and animation. The other was level uh, level art, and third one was Valheim Valheim um, fan art. Yet you guys chose uh, 2D character concept art. Let's go, nice to see you again. Hey, Philip, my friend. Yeah, you too, you too. Nice seeing you also. Yeah. So, I'm planning actually to to make... Uh, to find some okay-ish concept for, for a character and then we're gonna animate him, you know, like... Uh, we're gonna start with the casual poses like idle states and then we're gonna go for walking states we're gonna go for running states maybe or something we'll see mm. i didn't animate for like i think three or four years so it's gonna be painful for me also but let's enjoy the process So we're gonna need uh, like a default pause for the character. Oh, just a second, sorry. I didn't change the brushes, you know. How are you, Philip? How are you doing? It's okay ish now, I guess. Okay, so first let's set up like. Uh... I think we're gonna have to go for the bigger canvas. Definitely. Size, inches, net percent pixels, yeah. Let's go one per one K. Okay. Good. Thanks for asking. I don't know if you remember me. Yeah, I remember you. And your comments and your participation in streams from a year ago, man. Of course I remember. Uh, small community is here, so <laughs> it's not like... I, I, uh, you know, I, uh, I can uh, easily remember like you and three or four other people that were following me last year. So yeah, I was, uh, I was employed doing some other jobs in the, in the, uh, actually same job in the, in the um, uh, gaming industry as a concept artist. But uh, a few months ago, I quit my job, and now I'm back on the drawing board for myself, finally enjoying, you know, this process again. So I don't have any particular idea in the head, I just want to doodle around, you know, until finally I create some, some character that I like. going to be a big on YouTube, I swear. Oh, I don't think so, because I'm not that good in the social... How to say that? Social... Uh, uh, 
platform stuff, you know, I don't know how to, to promote and myself and in this age, I'm kind of done, done you know, learning about those stuff, so uh, I'm gonna go with the slower step. I guess uh, if anybody comes around and he likes uh, the art and the streams and hanging around, he's gonna stay here for a while, I guess. That would be awesome, you know, <laughs> if I would uh, uh, like build up some some kind of community here on YouTube, so I don't have to like do regular jobs and because I really like to draw stuff that I like. <laughs> I don't like to draw stuff for money. <laughs> but okay, ish, I guess. Man's got to do what man's got to do. But wouldn't it be awesome? Eh? <laughs> Not for the fame sake, just. Uh, uh, for the environment where where I could actually do only the things that I love, that would be awesome. But who knows? We'll see. So, as you can see, I'm not doing anything in particular. I'm just trying to figure out the concept, the stance. And I don't want it to be like too much realistic also. So we are just sketching now, doing all the rough rough mega rough lines. I don't want to dabble in any of like explaining and details in this in this part. I just want to find that overall overall feeling of what I'm creating. Uh, I'm gonna lower the music a little bit and if it's too loud feel free to let me know. Yeah. Nialia, are you again? Hello! Just saw you come uh, come alive again, so gotta see what's up this time. Your soul tree came out really nice. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I really enjoy you know, doing it and everything. Today we are doing something uh, completely different. We're gonna do some character concept art and then we're gonna move to the in-game look and I mean I'm doing in-game look uh, as soon as I'm finished finished and satisfied with the sketch but then we will uh, we're gonna do animation basic states you know like uh, walking running idle state even maybe some punches and action I guess the look of the character uh, will define its actions you know just a second, I need to turn off my WhatsApp and I don't know why why it's popping. Just give me a sec, sorry. Uh, 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 uh. God damn it. God damn it. But I don't see it in process. How come it... Sorry, just a second. Yeah, there it is. Hmm, strange. Never mind, sorry. So... <clears throat> I'm actually considering uh, doing this guy for that Jezelan world, you know? So, we'll see. Everything is rough so far, mega rough.
Maybe this is like too much realistic. Let's see. When it comes to proportions. <laughs> I don't know. Let's experiment a little bit. Yep. You can't see the liquify window at the moment. I'm just doing a little adjustment to his pose, you know. Make it seem more... Not heroic, but commissarative. I guess this will do. Okay, just let me save it. We're gonna paint this in blue ish color we're gonna reduce the opacity and or that we're gonna do a next sketch which will dabble a little more in a in the details defining the very character you know so this is only like uh like uh let's go like like this maybe <clears throat> this is only a sketch for a position, but not character character itself. Well, the eyes should be like here. This should be like the end of the nose. But I'm not sure if I should uh, do a regular face or whatever. Let's see. Let's just experiment a little bit there.
I would love to like uh, see the blend between a sci-fi look and some kind of rustic. Uh, how to say that? Generalized uh, rustic uh, fantasy concept, maybe. Let's see. Also, I need not to overcomplicate the design because I'm going to animate this. So... It's important to stay as simple as I can. Because uh, I don't have studio. It's only one person here <laughs> doing VR stuff for the animation, so we'll see. I always tend to overcomplicate later on. That's why I'm gonna need to discipline myself when it I, I, when it comes to animation. drawing purely from imagination yeah i don't do any reference now uh, because i did so much reference work when i was uh, working at that studio and i'm fucking tired of the references they destroyed my creativity uh, i had like uh, three months of uh, complete uh, artistical blockage because i used for every aspect i used some kind of uh, reference if i used it for building i had like 10 tons of building references for every single fucking thing and it draws me nuts, you know, because uh, in my art, I don't want it to be perfect and uh, uh, how to say that uh, bound to, the re to realism. I just want it to have its own philosophy. Yeah. So I tend to do, do everything from the from the imagination. Now. Mood map or something. No, no, no. I, I, uh, this is uh, uh, this uh, will uh, in this entire process will not look like an industry process. I will uh, uh, ultimately exclude myself from any kind of pipeline stuff, you know, that that I was doing uh, in that studio. I'm just gonna release my creativity and I don't care, I don't care if it's good or bad. I just want to do, <coughs> to explore more my, my own ideas, you know. But hey, if you are working in the industry, industry, you always have to use references because uh, you have to have that commercial value uh, stuck in that process always, you know. Everything should be like uh, linked to the, to the, how to say, bound to the rules and everything. <clears throat> At the moment, I don't have a clear picture of uh, how this character should look at all. Uh, later on, it's okay to use, uh, for example, I can't, uh, in, the, in, the, in the end part, I can't define the helmet or something, and I don't have a 
particular idea what will I do out of it and then it's okay to use references but when I try to uh, design from nothing I always uh, stay away from the references they just uh, influence too much you know in the process of, of drawing I mean uh, that's my case uh, some other people would say other advice of course it depends of wh what do you want to do with your art are you creating it just for the sake of creation or do you want to sell it do you want to use it for something do you want it to have like commercial value or something I uh, I was uh, I was in the really bad state when I quit my job, uh, physically and uh, spiritually, and you know uh, that makes sense. I think I rely on it because uh, I'm not that skilled, so it's kind of like uh, crutches, I guess. Uh, well, uh, uh, if you uh, if you lack the skill, it's always good to, to look to the references. When I'm not skilled in some particular part, if I draw something that I never draw, that has nothing to do with anything that I draw before, of course I'm going to uh, take some references and look on. In the Sacred Tree, I use the references for the snake head. Uh, I think you can see it in the, in the stream for the heart. I didn't know how to draw organic heart so i took a picture on the heart and uh, slept next to to my illustration and i uh, draw like the basic lines from it so it's okay to use references but at the beginning at the very uh, creation I, I, I would strongly suggest to stay away from the references because uh, your individual self in the artistic uh, presentation will not be will not be expressed early on and it's important to uh, like to express early on then when you, when it comes to uh, to to how to say that to uh, like uh, technical stuff then you can re rely on the references you know but hey, that's just my opinion Uh, back in the days when I was uh, semi amateur, how to say, I I used to like uh, scroll through art station and everything, and uh, it can do so much damage because uh, to you to your own expression, you know, you just uh, you just need to learn what kind of lines uh, are you feeling good when you draw. How to say that? Uh, what kind of colors, what kind of shading, what kind of things you actually uh, feel good when implementing. Not, it's not always if they are look good, it's how they influence you, you know. How do you feel when drawing something? That, that's like the most important part. If you do not feel good about drawing anything, then that's, that's not good at all, you know. You shouldn't do, do, do that. I mean, uh, for academic reasons, yes, but for... Artistic reasons? I don't know, man. Mm, I guess not. Uh, but I, I'm not talking about the comfort zone here. Uh, it, 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 uh, this uh, doesn't uh, relate to like uh, the team. More like uh, to to way of implementing lines, colors, and everything. You know. Here we are finally, finally having a sh okay a shoulder pad. Just let me see what I'm gonna do with it. I'm gonna leave it like this for now. Later on, I'm gonna fix it. Maybe we should cover this part also. Make it look cool. Yep.
where was I? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, when I quit my job, I felt uh, I was really in a poor shape, uh, psychologically and spiritually and uh, physically, and uh, that was the the moment that I, that I realized that uh, I don't want to be an uh, artist, you know, that is uh, heavily engaged in the art industry, you know. Because it, it wore me down so much. And it wasn't the work. It was uh, communication, people, you know. Because people tend to, every disagreement, people tend to uh, experience as some kind of war and conflict, you know. That's like at least 50% uh, of the work. Uh, uh, sorry, I didn't understand. 50% of the work for what? Uh, human relationships. No? Communication, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I, I didn't like the way people... Uh, uh, people engage in the relationship... In the communication, sorry. Uh, because... Uh, and especially in the artistic uh, department, how to say, the uh, creative people are are always uh, carrying huge amount of ego with them. You know, it's like their own personal demons are always poking them, and uh, they look everything through the lens of self worth. You know, especially the younger ones, younger younger colleagues are always. Uh, in some kind of competition or something, I don't know. If I was like 30 years old, maybe I could do that, but I am 39, almost 40 years old, and I don't just don't want to spend my life uh, proving myself to anybody or anything or, you know. I just want to do the things that I want to do. So. And if I manage to somehow financially do that, at the same time, then I'm good. If not, then I guess I'm gonna have to work something out, you know. Yeah, how about feeling? Uh, how about feeling of ownership? It is hard uh, to work together on art. Uh, or are you always doing separate things in an art department? Well, the thing is, uh, uh, it doesn't have any. It doesn't matter to me. It doesn't. Nothing of that matters to me. It's uh, the way people see each other, the way people communicate, the way people feel about themselves and the people around them that they're that they are seeing the entire day and work with. I don't want to work with the nervous people. It's okay to be nervous someday, of course, but uh, I don't want to. I guess I'm just old and grumpy. <laughs> you know? uh, it doesn't matter who, you, who do what. I just want people to, you know, enjoy the process. If you are not enjoying the process, then why the fuck are you doing that shit? You know. And and it's not just that. It's it, it's my age, I think, because uh, I uh, back in the days, uh, you know, I was competitive, but uh, today, no, not anymore, definitely. And life is too short to spend it with the people that you are not feeling good next to, you know. Life is too short for constant struggles and uh, disagreements and, uh, you know. Life is too short. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> Let me see.
but yeah, I I also uh, respect uh, as as I get older, I also respect that uh, solitary moments in art. You know, I like to do things. I realize that I like to do my art alone in in the way of uh, execution and decision making. You know. I am. I think that I am not good for the uh, huge project collaborations. I'm always okay. Okay for things like, hey, dude, I I like the way you draw. I would like to employ you, like do the art for this and that. Blah blah. I always, I can always easily do that, but uh, I do not enjoy that. I only enjoy when I'm doing something that I want to do. <laughs> I get some spoiled bread or something. It's. Uh, What's the purpose, you know? <laughs> if money is the purpose, then yeah, but... Dude... Somehow, I think that I would actually uh, like to do some other job... Uh, not... Uh, not linked with art, you know, for money and just uh, leave the art part for myself. And... By the way, how things are going, I think that will be like the... The... Uh, scenario in the days to come, you know. We have development, who knows? Who knows? We'll see. Yeah, but why not? I was actually, I had my own shop, you know, for 17 years. Uh, it was a family shop. We, both me, my father and my mother worked there and uh, we closed the shop like uh, one and a half year ago. And that's when I decided uh, I want to dabble into art professionally. You know, I was only freelancing before that, but hey. That's why I prefer solitary today, because uh, I work with large amount of people on a daily basis, you know. I was a psychiatrist to my cousin sometimes, but, uh, because uh, we were a small shop, that community that was around came, you know, every day. And uh, I loved like half of the people I really loved, but sometimes I just couldn't stand, you know, listening about other people's lives. Uh, or, constantly every time I actually knew everything about everyone you know okay so th this guy has problem with his wife this uh, woman has problem with her son this well I was just uh, so happy when I closed the shop you know I was even considering in something like uh, uber driving we don't have uber here we have a cargo and some other company you know I was actually consider doing that. We'll see. Who knows? But if the things go like uh, Philip uh, said, you know, <laughs> like somehow, <laughs> I don't know, man. Who knows? Life is a marvelous thing. You can't predict the future, you try to predict it, but you really can't do that. I don't know what the hell am I doing here, man. I think it's a good idea to do different things in life. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Definitely. Yeah, so I was actually doing like trade and commerce for 17 years. <laughs> That, it, that is enough experience for me <laughs> for that. No, this is not good. No, 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 no. Not good at all. Okay. Uh, I would love to do some like uh, to see and uh, to to buy a huge property near my city and make like, uh, how to say that, kindergarten for dogs or something. 
with the animators and uh, all kind of stuff. And I would also make a cafe so that the owners can drink coffee and joy while they, <laughs> their dog is treated and educated or something, you know? We don't have uh, that stuff here in Belgrade, Serbia, so I guess that would be interesting, at least. Oh, I worked in a kindergarten after school system for 10 plus years. Oh, really? So how's the, what's the experience? How, how can you like uh, elaborate a little bit more? How do you feel about doing that job? Was that job interesting? How are the kids? Because kids can be evil. <laughs> and <laughs> really, really evil <laughs> sometimes. Their kids, but overall they are great. I think, yeah, they are. They're always, uh, it, it, how to say that? Uh, by the default, they are beautiful, beautiful angels. But uh, when they become uh, reflections of their own parents, that's or families, that's where the bad stuff comes. You know, it's awesome to do projects, and I like that there is not a final product that needs to be delivered, but it's an ongoing process. Oh yeah, definitely. It's a constant interaction. What do you do when there is like a spoiled brat, you know? How do you bring him in in a balance in that moment, how to say? Animazione. Hey, Misha, yeah, yeah, it's animation, but first we need to create the character, you know? So I'm figuring out the concept, but it's gonna be uh, animation later on. Hello everyone, hello bossman Droa. <laughs> Droa. <laughs> hello man. Hello man. direction I think oh 
I was about rats. It is often about how you put yourself in respect, but uh, at the same time show the kid uh, that you see him, her. Yeah, many times it's about acknowledgement. Yeah, 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 definitely. If it continues, you of course have to have some limits and follow uh, follow up talks. Yeah, yeah, I bet you must. I bet you must. But generally not been much of an issue over the 10 years I work. 95% of the time it, it's been great and I love doing fun projects in art, music, role play or sports. So I can uh, warmly welcome the idea of drawing something with your art skills and kids. Oh, oh. oh yeah, 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 nice, 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 great, great. Also, uh, when it comes to drawing and illustration, kids are always interested in that part because uh, kids just love to, to, to draw and it disappears when they grow up uh, because of the world. But yeah, bunch bunch of them, not, majority of them just lo love drawing, you know. They could do that for like entire day. I kind of want to change this music, sorry. It has some static in it that I don't understand. Oh, nice. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go for my music now a little bit. We're gonna listen to the albums that I made like seven years ago. The pages of Architectum. As you can see, I'm not sure where I'm going <laughs> at the moment. I'm constantly changing stuff because I want to find some shapes that are interesting for me. My sister has a uh, to the other daughters and when they were young we we were often draw and I would often teach them how to draw stuff and they are, they were they were completely silent and concentrated you know if the kid is interesting it, it can learn so much so fast it's a remarkable really Oh. 
there is something that I don't like in this torso part and I'm still trying to figure out what, you know. Also, let's keep it simple. We already overcomplicated this dude for animation, but hey, <laughs> considering that I am not an animator, so I have my own way of uh, making animations. You'll see it. It's gonna be funny, promise. <laughs> I promise you, because I think uh, a lot of people actually don't do it by by that way. You'll see. So not sure about this belt and I don't want this guy to look like 100% robot I'm looking forward to see it. yeah me too me too oh oh I have an idea Let's go for the rope part. Because I want to intercept this uh, metallic robotic hands with some organic materials, you know. That's why I left the scarf on the top, you know. Something like this, maybe. Right. <laughs> okay, let's let's just do this the other way. So the more the hairy line art is, the that shows you how much I'm uncertain uh, of what I'm gonna do with that part, you know. The, the less hair it has, it's like I'm satisfied <laughs> where it's going. The more it goes like this, it means that I don't have an idea what I, what I want to do, you know. That's the process of designing for me. So I think I want uh, slimmer legs. I'm listening to... I'm interested to watch the process. Yeah, me too. <laughs> because I don't know the outcome. <laughs> For now I just want to construct the... Maybe something like this. Thank you. 
it's uh, too much, how to say, uh, cliche-ish. Maybe spread the pantalons, how to say. <laughs> like this or something. Just let me see. Spread it even more. And add like slim slim boots here maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe I should define this one first from this position because I think it will better show the the design of the boot. I need you to know is that this is not the actual process of how you should work on your art. This is my process. <laughs> uh, if you want to, to dabble yourself into illustration, always follow the, the rules, especially if you are a beginner, you know. Always follow the like uh, more professional YouTube, uh, YouTube commentators and teachers. You know, there is a guy here. Let me, I'm gonna link it link to you his uh, his uh, YouTube channel it actually has uh, sh good uh, simple short lessons for uh, beginners and uh, mediocre artists how to say that when it comes to experience you know just let me find him can't remember his name he worked in Blizzard of course ba -ba -ba -bom. let me see let me see Trying still to find. Yeah, Mark Brunette. Here's the guy. I'm gonna leave uh, here uh, in in the chat. I'm gonna leave his uh, his uh, YouTube channel. He has a bunch of great advice and also implemented the stuff. You know, which you can just watch and use for yourself in the drawings later on. I think also he has its own courses and everything. If somebody else needs it. And uh, what I loved about that guy, he looked like he's stoned 24-7. <laughs> I bet he smokes a lot of weed. He didn't answer that when I asked him, but <laughs> it looks like a guy who is constantly, <laughs> constantly high. <laughs> All the eyes, the red always, you know, and the look, it has like a stoner's look, I love him. <laughs> Satisfied with the design of the of the, the boot.
How do you like this? Uh, this uh, character so far. I, I need to work on the belt also, but let me just finish the legs, and then I'm gonna go back on the belt, and then we're gonna design over over this. But actually, this pose is good uh, for idle pose later on. I think it's, it looks great and unique. Oh, thank you, thank you. Nialia. Nialia. <laughs> Damn, I think I'm butchering your nickname every time I, I say it. Maybe if the animations uh, just lower music for me, I kinda it's kinda lou louder than my thoughts at the moment. And for you, we'll see if it's silent. I'm gonna increase it. It's perfect, but you can also call me Nia. Okay, Nia is easier. Use uh, I use uh, to God just by that for the exact reason. That's uh, that that's my nickname. It's hard to pronounce. Nialia. <laughs> Sounds like an elvish uh, druidess or something. Night elf druidess. What what was the your main uh, character involved back in the days? Did you play alliance or port? Port. It was an elf. You're right. Yeah, I mean it sounds elvish, you know. Sindore. <laughs> yeah. I love uh, Night Elf. Oh, oh, nice. Nilia, the bad back back uh, back uh, backstabber. Yeah. <laughs> backstab, backstab, backstab. Bottom. I hated the rogues in the in the I, because I played the Handsome Shaman in the uh, Burning Crusade expansion back in 2006 or something. And boy. Rogues, combat rogues with that maze stun. <laughs> Dude, he kept me stunned for like 80% of the fight. And uh, it came only to, to like the chance of my Wind Fury to proc. If my Wind Fury didn't proc, I die. <laughs> if it did, <laughs> maybe I had a chance to win. But boy, like a Frost Mage and, and combat rogue, or, or even um, what's the other rogue? Not Subpleti, but the other one. Forgot the specialization name. Dude, with the mutilate, one with the mutilate, it was oh, holy fuck. Assassination, yeah, assassination. So maybe let's make this boots even slimmer. Like this. <clears throat> okay, we just liquefy it a little bit. The older one more, so I'm not gonna. Okay. Okay, so we have like a rough sketch. Uh, so let's try to dabble a bit more before I go with the line art part, with the polished line art part. Let's try to figure out what we're gonna do with this helm. I want this every part of this to like glow with the yellow light or something, you know. I want it simple and iconic. And let's try to play a little bit with this part also.
Whoa! I think it's good now. Should we add like some kind of jetpack on his back, which he can use later on to fly around maybe, or how to say that, uh, uh, to traverse a bit, a bit more, I don't know, maybe it's too much, let me see. Interesting, yeah, it is. It is, but from this side you can't actually see it good, you know. Accessories are funny, yeah. They are, uh, but it's too much sci-fi when I do that. I want, I don't want this uh, uh, this. Uh, I'll say that aesthetics to be 100% sci-fi. I want to like make it rustic also, you know, to blend like. Imagine like blending, I don't know, Mass Effect with the with the Banner Saga or something. <laughs> also, let's try to make this not so roundish, you know. Let's try to go for some kind of more of a triangle look. Maybe, let's see. Cut from the end. Nah, not, not good. The older one was better, definitely. Gonna keep the older one. Uh, let's see about this shoulder. So. Maybe we can use this symbol from the top of his head or the shoulder also. Let's see. So maybe this cape, this cape, this scarf should actually be like a cape or something. Oh yeah, 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 definitely. Something like this, maybe. Let's try to see if it should be longer, maybe. Or maybe not the cape, but like uh, if this goes around his head, like a long scarf, you know, or something. Yeah, because, yeah, yeah, let's like, let's make a longer scarf here, just give me a sec. Like this or something. I mean, it would be a pain in the ass for animation, but who gives a shit? We're not in hurry to finish anything, you know? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure about this. 
I don't find him uh, when I look him. I I do not find him like uh, like a slim guy or something. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, look at this idea now. Look. Let's like do this and add like. It's gonna. Be <laughs> Sorry, those are my dogs. My wife just came back home and responding, you know. Nah, it kind of destroys his uh, neck. <clears throat> Maybe this is actually good enough. But you see, we have a problem here. We have. We have like this is not good. See, we need to change this. So, we need to increase the size of the, the row and then add this fist later. Yeah, this is good. Let's play with the liquify just a little bit. Maybe make him a bit uh, sturdier and shorter. Maybe that, would be, maybe that would be interesting. Just let me see. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of funny. But, but I don't know, I find this interesting, you know? <laughs> so let's, uh, uh, let's like uh, take this guy, leave it here, and try to dab a little bit with the liquify again. Yeah, I find this second one more interesting, maybe. Just uh, let's change the position. I'm so sorry that you can't see the liquid play process. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure, to be honest. Should we go for one or two? The, if you make him all black, it's a different kind of silhouette, you know. I don't know. Maybe keep the first one. Think you think too, yeah? I don't know. But there is something missing. It's, it's like maybe make his legs a bit shorter. Like this, just give me a sec. Also, you no, know, go with whatever you like the best. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I like both, to be honest. Let's just pump his chest a little bit. Yeah, now he looks more heroic. 
Yeah, let's go with the second one now, and we will trans transform it further. Kako bilo na rođendan, ljubav? I like the curvature in his back. Hip on... On number two, yeah. He looks more sturdy, more of... He has more of a hero pose, you know. But also, I need to do something with his hands. Just a little bit. Let's see? Now I'm on Liquify Tool, which you can't see. Liquify Tool is the best for these early, early stages when you try to define, you know, the basics. So this was all. This is now, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Save. Save as. It's a bit blurry now, but don't worry, we're gonna, we're gonna do new line work, I'm just trying to see, maybe I should add something, you know, oh, I like this, something like this maybe, let's see, that's, that's why I don't like references at the beginning, because they, they like uh, make your pathway before you even thought of experimenting, you know, with the with the artwork, you know. <laughs> Look at this now. Look at this. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> and if we like make uh, silly eyes like this. <laughs> I see that. It creates a lot of bias. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely it creates a lot of bias. But this is great. This is, uh, I like this. Even like make like three eyes or something, you know. Let's try to work around this uh, this design now. Let's try to figure figure it out a bit more, you know. Because I, I kind of like it. He has like a third eye, which will go good with the philosophy. Uh, it reminds me of the Earthworm Gym with this, so we need to change this. I want to go away from that. It's good, but uh, I just want to go away in the, some other direction, you know. Also, I like him without mouth, you know. see here we're going somewhere but still figure out oh let's try and actually make his head round now has like He looks like a badass. <laughs> I already spent too much time on, on this, but we're not in hurry. I just want to create some cool character for the next part, you know. Considering that we we are gonna animate him for ten thousand hours, uh, I just want to. I want him to look interesting, at least. I 
I kind of like this, dude. And also, <clears throat> so as you see, we are going away from the set look now, and I'm kind of satisfied with that. We'll just see what we're gonna do with his shoulders. seems more organic now and less of a Robocop, you know. Let's add more cloth here. Like uh, ro rolled up sleeves or something. Oh, yeah, rolled. Rolled sleeves, which we will insert here. And here we will simplify. Still dabbling with this shoulder to arm part, but what I'm gonna do with it, you know. So as you can see, we are completely changing the concept now, and why not? Why not try anything? We have like the save save files if we are not satisfied, but it's important to try to build on the idea every time you can in this early sketching process. Mm. 
See, I'm trying to figure out the shape of his hands, but I kind of broke broke them a little bit. So I'm trying to actually find like the silhouette that is okay-ish for me. from the beginning because I kind of lost lost the yep much better and we're gonna keep it simple like this I think also try to figure out where the brace should go should Because uh, this bottom part of the hand is longer than the upper one, so I think also the hand is too much on the side now. Let's see. Maybe I'm wrong. We'll see. I know it looks off now. To it totally looks off. Uh, I'm not satisfied at all. Maybe I'm gonna keep it like this, who knows? Who knows? Good. 
Swiper. Hey man. How are you doing, Swiper? Where are the voice drums that we are that we are, that we talked about two days ago? Were you slacking, my friend? I'm good. How about you, Brate Dushin? A little bit. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm good, thank you. I managed to injure my hand. Hand, not yet. Hand. Uh, yesterday, and it's uh, my right hand which I use for drawing, and uh, I so I I try to like uh, rest it from time to time. So I'm I'm doing slower work today actually because of that. So we are trying to to figure out, you know, the. The overall look of the character there that we're gonna animate. We're spending too much time now on the sketch, but we're not in hurry to finish anything anytime soon. I wish you a speedy recovery. Thank you, thank you, Swiper. You just try to play li with liquify a little bit. You hear this? These are my dogs playing with each other. They went crazy. Crazy, I tell you. I'm gonna find this hand unnatural to be this much visible on this side. You know, I want him to like pop up the chest. So the actually hand hand should go something like this. Yeah, something like this. Barely visible on this side. Mm 
Yep, this is the way to go. This huge scarf will be interesting for the animation, I think. Let's see. Something like this for now. Okay, let's liquefy it the face a little bit. Yo, maybe we should try to like... Maybe we should try, instead of Scarf, maybe he should have tail or something? Let's try, we have the same position with Scarf. Let's just try instead of Scarf to insert like a tail or something, you know? Because he's not human, obviously. Oh, definitely. We're gonna go for tail. What do you think? What do you guys think? Great! <laughs> yeah, let's do that tail stuff. Okay, I think the sketch is over. I think uh, the part for uh, a line, line art is made now, and we're gonna save this as sketch. Then we're gonna make a line art now. Oh, I just forgot to to do the to do the belt. Also, just give me a sec. <clears throat> Is music too loud? Yes. No. I think it's okay by the equalizer here, but if it is, if you can't hear me from music or anything, feel free to comment. Before I go into the new checkpoint, let's try and see. Let's try and discover more. <laughs> yeah, the more the, the fatter he is, the interesting he is to me now. You know, look. This is the old one, this is the new one. But still, this guy will be hard for animation if I keep it so much bulky, you know? I think this is the better way to go. Gravity is just uh, really strong on his her planet. Yeah, who knows? Who knows? Yeah, I'm gonna keep it like this. I'm not gonna add anything else. Let me just save this as a new sketch and we're gonna do the line art. And I need to change the sensitivity now on my pen because I want the strong lines now. Okay. Oh, 
so let's position him for the animation over here somewhere maybe like this okay. we're gonna do an idle animation for start For that, let's draw the the guy properly. So we're going again for the white, uh, for the bluish color. And we'll draw refurnished lines now. So as you can see, this is the actual actual size of the character. There is a small space to navigate around in inside. So now we have a really really small amount of space to to navigate here. You see. Because this will be like his in-game size, you know? Imagine the platformer, like side-sprawling game, so... How about adding just a little line here, like this? Yeah, I kind of like it. with this third eye properly
Swiper, are you still here? I think not. This uh, third eye is driving me nuts. Ooh. Ooh. Now we are nineties all over again, guys. Well, this is good. So still in this process we are redesigning the, the, the sketch, you see. We are not following 100% of the sketch. If we find something that is interesting, we just change it like this. like one small button here so he can roll up sleeves and you know stitch this button to the rest of his shirt simple line art is now but uh, one would think that this is easily drawn you know with a uh, few lines here and there but the process uh, for us to get to this was uh, 10,000 of lines you know
My dogs are going nuts again. Uh, yeah, but it looks really good. I really like the shape of, of the head. Sorry, I was I was concentrated on the work. I didn't uh, watch the chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah this is okayish now. It's interesting. Yeah. No problemo. Some kind of nostrils there also. Why not? We can even let me just try and see how it's gonna look. If we had like a few few of these things. No, 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 no. Let's keep it clean and vague. Dealer! Hey dealer! How are you doing my friend? Thanks. Oh, I, I left a comment there on your on your stream. I watched it. Uh, I watched it uh, while you were offline because I just woke up that, back then. But uh, you have a uh, same voice as uh, Dan Carlin. I don't know if you listened to him a few times. Anyway, people, uh, Dillard uh, is also an artist. Uh, uh, he doubles into a comic book art, uh, graphic novels, how to say. And he's making some animated series also. He's really talented. The guy is uh, from USA and he has an uh, awesome voice for narration, which he uses in his own projects. Uh, yeah. Go go on his channel and, and take a look at his own art and projects. It will be worth of your time. The stories are great. Have that noir-ish feeling. <clears throat> I 
two. Oh, we need to move this a little bit to the side here. small amount of space there <laughs> to define anything reasonably I don't like these buttons uh, I think I want to do something different here maybe even do without you know buttons just add like dots or something let's see yeah dots are better Let's try it. 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 Let's try
Wow, that's good. Okay, uh, small break. Uh, I need to eat. I'll be back with you in like two minutes.
I'm back. <laughs> Thank you for being here and waiting. <laughs> Just let me put my gloves on. Obviously, if we are gonna be satisfied with the result, which I'm not gu guaranteeing you guys, I'm not an animator, but if the results are gonna be good, maybe we should, maybe we should next time do like level for, the, for this guy. Let's paint that world. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> I think that he will have like two fingers only, definitely. Uh, three fingers, sorry, two instead of four. So we gotta have like three fingers. <laughs> Wanna make him hairy? <laughs> no, <laughs> definitely not. Thank you. 
also maybe try to, to simplify this belt, uh, like totally, let's see. Uh, somehow this is strange for me, I think. Let's try. There is too much information there. Uh, uh, we don't want uh, that much information, this small character. So. It's all coming together. Yeah, yeah. Let's see how much failure failure will we have on the animation part. <laughs> that is like the thing that bothers me because uh, this is actually a good, uh, you know, time to uh, to dabble with that. That's why I also made that suggestion at all because I want to try something out of my league. How to say? space everywhere for me to actually draw it efficiently so I'm just making the illusion of, of the shapes you know also I think I kind kind of raised this too much let me see maybe I should lower it a little bit like this here too many lines for nothing
<clears throat> Something is off with this foot. <laughs> Definitely. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me try to liquefy it a little bit. Tail a little bit. I'm worse with this uh, these objects that are like stylized hair, tails, uh, like tentacles, and they will be a pain in the ass for animation, I think, also. But we'll see. We'll see. here or something, I don't know. No. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. <laughs> guy so of course you're gonna just pop the back oh no wrong line a lot wrong layer you're gonna pop the the bucket and then we're gonna select the line art uh, look uh, guys this is uh, really important for you who don't have a um, large amount of experience in in Photoshop um, so you pop like uh, bucket tool and you paint uh, everything with the layer layer beneath you know and then you select the line art, line art uh, layer here you take this magic wand tool you click around the the object you select the parts that you don't want to be painted then you go up on the select modify expand so why do you do this 
and then you type, for example, in my case, I do two pixels. Because uh, you want uh, color not to, you know, go out to this part, but to like uh, dabble in the middle of the line art. And then you again bring back, uh, select the, uh, the layer beneath, which I named color, and then you just type delete in your keyboard. And bam, you just colored uh, entire entire object. And then you do like little modification here and there. For example, here we need to paint a little bit. Here we need to erase a little bit. Here we need to paint a little bit. You just cover all the missing parts and you know, then after you're finished. Ah, now where you're finished, now you lock the this uh, this uh, color layer with this button over here. It says locks next next to him. You click it, and now see you can paint only on the surfaces of of the painted area. See, he's not painting anywhere around it. If you type, if you uh, unlock this this uh, button then you can paint you know around so lock then you paint it in and that's it okay so let's just add yeah. brown for now uh i want this guy to be blue da -dee -da -da -dee -da -da -dee -da -da gonna make him blue why not then you paint the parts that you want to paint and also you can select with magic tool parts that you oh, what oh, okay. you select with the magic tool parts that you want to paint all at once for example I'm gonna show you on the for example, on this car, if, uh, if you don't want to paint this by hand, for example, you choose the color that you want to use for painting. Then you click magic wand again. You select the line art tool here. You click on the scar. Again, select, modify, expand. Then you go back to the color area and you paint everything here. See? See? Now let's figure out what color of scar. We're gonna leave it green for now, but I think I'm gonna change it, change it later on. We'll see. So, as you can see, by magic wand you cannot you can't select everything. So this is like a small area that is missing here. You paint just over it, you know. Yep. Let's take this blue color again. Let's paint the head. And we're gonna go with the yellow eyes, of course. Like this. <clears throat> now let's paint the shirt. Whoa. Select, modify, expand. Again on the color. And let's paint the shirt. If you have any questions, don't be hes don't hesitate to ask them. Ask them, and if I know how to help you, I will always try to help you for anything you need. Regarding illustration, in animation, I don't have so much answers because I I've never dabbled professionally, you know. There, but so this. Uh sleeves that are rolled we're gonna increase like brightness here just a little bit like this so let's paint this part gonna be let's see some 
Same color for the belt. Maybe we should increase saturation just a little bit and go more for the red. Let's see. Yeah. Also, we can make this, uh, I don't know how to say this in English, let, let me try and Google it. We say it Kragna in Serbian, but let me see. Kragna, translate to English. Consultancy, no, this is not, uh, no, this is not Icelandic, what the fuck, Serbian. Color, yeah, color, I forgot it. Maybe we should paint that color with the with the color of the shirt also, so it it will like show us that it is actually a shirt beneath this and not the color of the jacket. Also, this uh, leather jacket part, maybe we should also paint it with some other color. Modify, expand, let me see. Something like this, maybe? Something darker. Go oh, even darker. This. So I'm trying to figure out the color palette, basic color palette of this character before I dabble further into shading and everything. Also, maybe we should do this now. Just a sec. Yeah. This color. Because we're gonna have a metal on the boots also, so we can make these parts also metal instead of leather, so we'll see. Where is she? Too early to tell. Grab a cigarette, so just give me one sec. Okay, 
<laughs> let's see, let's see. trying to figure out if I'm satisfied with the basic color palette. Let's try one more thing before we start shading. kind of interesting maybe I will keep it this way Before I go further, let's try instead of the blue skin to implement some other color, just in case, you know, let's try anything. It's awesome that you could, in theory, use the scarf and pants as a way to show the faction colors. Oh yeah, definitely. If you had a game with many of these uh, blue guys, yeah, Team Red, Team Green, <laughs> Team Red, Team Green, yeah, why not, why not? I'm just trying to figure out if I want to keep him black. Keep him black. Uh, blue. Uh, let's uh, let's try like green, just in case. It's he's probably gonna be blue, but now he's like a reptile or something. Let's try like orange, maybe. Darker orange, to more red. I kind of like blue better, but let's go with a different pigment a little bit. No. kind of like this uh, blue with uh, more green in it, you know, with the green pigment in it. It's like, uh, I don't know what's the name of the color, I forgot. Hmm. 
Steel, yeah, yeah, steel. Yeah. Thank you, Nia. You know, maybe he's some kind of soldier or something. Maybe we could uh, add, like, let me see. Like, uh, Apple here or something. The thing is, the space is too small for me to define anything. Unnecessary informations that will only complicate further in the animation process. So let's just. Oh, yeah. I don't have any more undoes. Now Stylight Shadow comes, so this part is going to be darkened, this part is going to be darkened, this part, this part, this part, this, this, we are adding just a rough, uh, rough place for shading, you know. Brightness minus 42 is my always my number for this. have a small space here to do anything in particular regard regard the uh, regarding the shade you know
Okay. Okay, now we paint the line art, so we're not going to keep it black. I never keep my line art black. Uh, so we're going to paint it like this. <clears throat> Let's get with this red parts also. shirt we have some weird mess there just clean it up So kind of need a few lines here, a little bit. Also, this needs to be colored. Paint the inner parts of the scarf also. Okay. So we're st starting to paint that uh, black line art, and uh, you're using the lighter colors, you know. Uh, then um, a ton of mistakes uh, are coming around, you know, like unpainted parts or. Because, I don't know, it's because I can somehow see less when the line art is black. 
for those mistakes, you know. Uh, okay, we have also this part. Now the head. here Doesn't matter, we're gonna add silver polar there later on. See, all of a sudden we see that brown area there, which we couldn't when the line art was black. Correct that. And continue. Same thing here. See how many mistakes there were made, which we couldn't see at all with the with the black line art.
space here is really really small for everything you know to add something So, okay, we, let me see how much I'm already in the stream, so yeah, three hours, I think that was enough for today, we made the character, we designed it, we painted him, and now he is ready to be furtherly manipulated for the 
for the animation purposes, which we will do in the next stream. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Thank you for being here. Thank you for participating. And see you maybe even later this evening, or if not, tomorrow then. Love you all, guys. Bye-bye.